Media bias tracker for December 18th, 2023, starting with Tesla. Let's get to it. Elon Musk is cracking under the pressure of the biggest gamble he's ever... No, he isn't. No, he isn't. What are you talking about? The biggest gamble he's ever... Okay, so his biggest gamble ever was uh, SpaceX. You got $100 million. You could go buy an island and live in the Caribbean for the rest of it. This No, that's the Cybertruck. No, the Model 3 was the biggest gamble after that. Oh, but the risk-addicted blackjack player inevitably does. He pushed his luck too far. The em Boom, Empire's in trouble again. Wow, what garbage. That's terrible. So anyway, that's a negative headline. Uh, ro ro Elon Musk still got this one up from yesterday. Edward Niedemeyer. Elon Musk's big lie about Tesla's finally exposed. That big lie that Ed Niedemeyer can't read. Tesla axes Disney Plus from vehicles with musk Iger rivalry. So, you know, we don't know what's going on there. I believe uh, the headlines are saying this has something to do with the mm, tweet that resulted in Disney suspending ads on X and Elon saying, hey, man, uh, if we're going to hit each other in the pocketbooks, let's do it. It's a terrible thing, if true, but uh, let's not... Let's not let our petty grievances. It's a negative headline. Either way, potentially true, important, negative. I don't know how you'd spin that in a positive way. Tesla Cybertruck owners get warning from U.S. Forest Service. We're still on this. Tesla's stuck Cybertruck could be learning opportunity, according to the Forest Service management. Uh, this story is days old. But somebody keeps running it, and enough people click on it, Google News keeps showing it. We're looking at the 25 top ones here. And by the way, welcome to all the new folks. There's a handful of you. Welcome. Thank you for your support. Uh, you'll get a bigger shout-out on the, on the main channel on a public video. GM and Ford EV owners uh, get to uh, Tesla supercharger access as early as February. That's positive. What a great deal. GM and Ford could charge at superchargers as soon as February. Remember, the mission is to advance sustainable energy. This is how you do it. Here we are. We're still on the recalls. Recalls 2 million. Uh, the recall won't fix autopilot. And of course, my favorite, Tesla driver forced to pay after killing two people on autopilot. Yeah, Tesla driver forced to pay. $23,000 in no jail time. Nobody in 2019 thought this was a, a robo chauffeur. The system wasn't that capable. You would have had to have just gotten in the car and activated it for the very first time to not know that the shortcomings were evident. Okay. Tesla rival faces growing bankruptcy risk. This is terrible. This article, Tesla rival. Ooh. And which rival is it? Is it uh, Rivian? Is it Lucid? Is it uh, Neo? BYD? Nikola. That's how far down we have to scroll to find out it's Nikola. Nikola, not really a Tesla rival today. They only make the semi in hydrogen and perhaps, perhaps hydrogen and perhaps battery versions. And Tesla really hasn't rolled out the Tesla Semi yet. Not really a Tesla rival, but okay. Terrible. Lazy. Uh-huh. Uh, Swedes support the strike. Uh, yeah. Tesla's hiring an expert to problem solve. That's uh, pretty good. I think I rated that neutral. Nordic investors push for collective agreement. Just the facts. Just the facts. Neutral. Good job, Tesla Roddy. Good job, Maria. Germany ends EV subsidies in latest blow to Tesla. Now, we covered this yesterday, but here we are. This is four hours old again. It's a brand new article with the exact same headline. Uh, really? Germany ending the EV subsidies is a blow to Porsche with their Taycan, Audi with their Quattro, uh, or yeah, Quattro, right? Which is it? You know the one. Uh, BMW with their iX and i-series, Mercedes with their EQ series. There's a lot more manufacturers in Germany than just Tesla, and it is a blow to all of them, 
But why would we put that in the headline? Those don't drive clicks. Do you think people are clicking on stories with Audi in the headline? Even Audi owners don't care. News about Tesla stock, exciting news. That's positive. Exciting news, positive. Same guy, two outlets. Well, <laughs> Google listed it twice. And Tuberville's bet against Tesla cost him $2.8 million. We talked about that. It's just delightful to see a nefarious plan backfire. Don't short the market, Tommy. This is still here, two days old. It feels like more than two. It's probably one, two, it's probably almost three days old. You can get a new Model 3 for 20 grand in New Jersey, maybe. It has to do with stacking state and local incentives atop the federal one. You may qualify for some, you may qualify for all. That's a positive headline. 20 grand for a new Model 3, baby. Car recall check, Tesla. Mazda, Lamborghini, among two million recalled fondly. No, it's ridiculous. I just love it. The Lamborghini's got to be 500 of those cars. Uh, the Mazda's got to be, I don't know, 10,000. And the Tesla is 2 million. So uh, if you add up uh, Elon's net worth and mine, we have a combined net worth of like $280 billion. Same number if you subtract my net worth or Lamborghini's recalls. They're just uh, headline stuffing. They're keyword stuffing in the headlines. Gross. Optimus, Tesla savior or overhyped? So I'm going to call that neutral. It started really good. It's still, I'm sure, accurate to the content, but it's neutral. Tesla's massive recall explained in three charts on Barron's. I tried to view it but there's a paywall. I tried to, I tried several methods to circumvent the paywall and all you can see is the paywall. Fudge them. Fudge barons all the way to the Wonka factory. I say Tesla removes Disney plus. We talked about that. Why, why are they recalling almost all its cars? Stop, stop New York magazine. You're better than this. And I say that they're not actually better than this. So looking at today's media bias index, negative 36 for a trailing seven day of negative 46. Remember, this is on a scale of negative 100 to 100. Yeah. So here we are. This is today. Not too bad. Uh, that's the daily. That's the trailing average. And next week, it should get more interesting, perhaps. We'll start the 30 day rolling average soon enough. So let's take a look at our other topic. Today's other topic, SpaceX. Spache X. SpaceX suit claims critical ecosystem damage caused by rocket launches. Now, no one cared about this beach. No one cared about this wildlife preserve. You know, most wetlands in the U.S. are protected, not because they need protection, but because there was a pushback on protecting places that people would actually be able to develop this is really hard to develop, very easy to protect. And they didn't want huge developments right on the border anyhow. It's an easy way to protect something, is just pick land that nobody else is using. It's kind of swampy. SpaceX suits claims that it's damaging the area. Okay, um, you know, they really don't do many launches there. It's a test location. They're already building towers in, in Florida getting pushback. Dragon departure from space station, NASA targets Wednesday. That's pretty positive. SpaceX gearing up for third Starship flight with photos, positive. SpaceX opens sales of Starlink. You know, you can buy them at Costco. No inv invite required. You can literally go to the store and buy a Starlink in many places. That's wonderful. SpaceX alums offer telemetry stack through startup, great. That's wonderful. Uh-huh. X-37 delayed. Yeah, it's pretty neutral. Delayed uh, sets date even more neutral. Neutraler. Falcon Heavy launch uh, now targeted for. Anybody searching SpaceX would not look at these and go, that's a bad headline. It may be confusing to people who don't follow SpaceX, but you wouldn't look at that and go, uh-oh, something is amiss. These are neutral headlines. Jeff Bezos says Elon Musk's 
SpaceX will be successful for sure, but there's room for a bunch of winners. That's a positive headline. For a long time, Bezos was seen as, well, once, once Blue Origin comes online, SpaceX is done for. No, nothing like that can happen. SpaceX is now too big. If Blue Origin comes along and has a equally good uh, launch capacity for an equally good price, they'll both succeed more or less equally. Um, it's really going to be tough for any launch provider to get costs lower than what SpaceX has, and SpaceX appears to have a positive margin. Will Amazon become SpaceX's biggest customer? That's a positive one. Launch tonight, everything you need to know, neutral. Furious. SpaceX furious that the government won't give it free handout of nearly a billion dollars. Are you, are you stoned? Or like, like for real futurism or are, are you on, are you on drugs? Because what do you, okay. There was an FCC uh, grant uh, offering, so to speak. There was a, a, a request for bid and SpaceX said, we can provide this much internet to this many people in these locations, rural areas that do not have access to internet at this price. And if they win the bid, then they get money to make it more affordable to people who live there. People who live there can still get it. This would have made it more affordable because the government kind of has an obligation to make certain things available. And it seems that access to the internet is kind of a right that a lot of people expect in these communities. Uh, they're giving out billions and billions to people running wires through towns. There are some decent solutions out there. There are some really bad ones. And, uh, this one is not, <sighs> this would have helped a lot of people. SpaceX had until 2025, I think, to get their 24 or 25, to get their speeds to a certain level. And here we are in 2023, too late. Your speeds aren't up to, up to snuff, you're out. We're, like, we're out. We have two more years and our speeds have been improving as we deploy more satellites. Tough luck, tough luck. I'd be furious if I lived in those areas. If I'm the one who now has to pay more, very, very bad headline. Scrubs launch, uh, dragon departure, dragon departure. And I don't remember. Oh, no, we got these in here too. South Texas organization sues. That's negative. Birds, negative. Um, direct to cell phone tests. That's positive. That's going to happen. Apparently they're going to be able to test. Can you successfully make a cell phone call directly to Starlink? This is gibberish. So I skipped it. Agencies caught in environmental crossfire. Come on. So many headlines about the same thing. Where's, I mean, shouldn't there be more starship news, but okay. Postpones new date and first, first batch of direct to sell. I think I rated that one positive. Um, and SpaceX yet to select which launch pad neutral. Nobody cares. And this was the last one. Yes. Days after announcing a deal with SpaceX, Amazon seeks to dismiss lawsuit. Uh, I rated that neutral. It's kind of good news, but, um, I just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyone who cares, doesn't care about this except for Steve Moleman. Yeah. So how did SpaceX do media bias? positive eight, positive eight. So if you compare that with Tesla's coverage, it's all down here. Tesla hasn't had a single day above zero on the negative 100 to 100 scale. And yet SpaceX debuts at positive eight. So there's more going on that's affecting these headlines. SpaceX doesn't advertise. They don't get good press for advertising. GM had very bad numbers two days ago when we covered them. You said, well, the news is just bad this week. Yeah, but the news is bad a lot of weeks. We'll see how it unfolds over time. So this rolling average will get more exciting and we will next week start tracking the other companies over weeks uh, to get better lines. And this 
is going to get a whole lot more crowded because I will be adding in the um, the ones up above that uh, are part of part of the thing we track. What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? All that good stuff. See you on the next one.